Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brad, and my hand is Bomb, a graphic novel that tells the story about the creation of the atomic bomb. Uh, it is based on the book uh, Bomb, the Race to Build and Steal the World's Most Dangerous Weapon. Um, this is good. It's really, really good. It's written by Steve Schenken and then illustrated by Nick Bertozzi. Um, so what's interesting about this is... I think, one, it really puts in... It does a great job of laying out um, what happened. And not just what happened with the building of the bomb, but the attempts to steal the bomb, um, some of the other things that were going around uh, about the same time as the bomb was being built. Uh, just overall, like it's, it does, I think, a really solid job of uh, putting, a, uh, putting things in order, giving things timelines, and putting a lot of things in context. Um, Starts a little bit before you know the World War II like really kind of breaks out. Um, rumors of this uh, of 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 nuclear fission happening, you know what that means, and then eventually the decision to put a team together to build an atomic bomb, uh, and what went into that. But I think what's really interesting is that not only does it focus on that, which could be interesting by itself, but also. It's kind of told from the perspective of one of the people who was spying and stealing secrets for the Russians, considering uh, about the the creation of the bomb. Um, these this is a true story. They use um, actual like uh, information from the interrogation uh, to write the narrative. There was apparently multiple spies going on, which is crazy. Uh, and then at the end, it tells you like what happened. You know, a lot of folks got away with the spying, um, which is is really really interesting. But you know, it it, it not only does that, um, but it goes further. Like, there's the story of how um, how they attempted to stop the Germans from building their own bomb using heavy water. And the team that went in to go do that is so like a Norwegian team that was trained by like British, uh, whatever special operations to do this mission. It's like a really badass story, and that by itself could be an entire graphic novel. And I kind of want it to happen because it sounds like the dudes behind this were really, really badass in the war. Um, so like that's part of the story. There's of course like the secrecy of everything. You have. A little bit about like how Truman was in the dark uh, about all of it as a senator, and then had to get thrown into it. And then most importantly is like the ramifications of the nuclear bomb. Uh, you know, this was a force unlike anything else in human history. It is the weapon of weapons that fundamentally uh, would change the dynamics of the world, and you get a lot of that a lot of the discussion that we have today, the philosophical discussions, you know, begin here. The the idea of mutual assured destruction. Um, there's the discuss discussion that, you know, the United States and Russia with nuclear bombs would be like two scorpions locked in a, a bottle that they could kill each other, you know, they could attack each other, but you're going to wind up killing yourself at the, uh, at the same time. Um, you know, are there other ways to approach? Were there other ways to approach um, Russia, and and do we need to like ramp up bomb production and make things more deadly and more destructive? Um, there is a lot of uh, there's a lot of about that afterwards. You know, some of it's in text, but you get the hints of like these are guys who went and created this amazing thing and celebrated for a minute. And then it really hit them what they did, the deaths that were on their hands, the, the power that was unleashed in the, on the world. Um, you really get that, that sense of not excitement, but just like, holy crap, what have I done? Um, this is, I mean, this could easily have been multi-volume graphic novel. There's so much packed in here. There's so much to go into and so much that's interesting. And I think that's the thing that's crazy about this is... You know, a bunch of guys talking about nuclear fission and whether or not plutonium or uranium is better to blow up and how a bomb works seems like something that would be really boring. But the way this is presented is not only interesting, but makes you want to find out more. And each story is so fascinating. Like you could have a graphic novel just about each of the spy attempts and those people. You could have a graphic novel just about Oppenheimer and about... Um, his experiences. You can have a graphic novel about the 
the um, guy put in charge in, uh, of the army to uh, manage all of this. Um, it seems like everyone involved, like, disgraced themselves after in some way. And disgrace isn't quite the right word, but, like, there's a tragedy for every single one of them afterwards. You know, Oppenheimer, um, you know, continued his uh, career in, in, in academia, but, like, was shunned. He got caught up in the, in the Red Scare. Um, the, the army, the guy that, uh, uh, I think it's Graves is the last name that was put in charge of it. Like he himself, like they didn't like his attitude and he just kind of like got pushed to the side. Um, they were like, he gets stuff done, but he's a pain in the ass to work with. Um, of course there's the various spies that had to deal with it, uh, with everything. Um, it's just, it's a really interesting story as a whole in that like these people changed the world in ways you know, that are still reverberating and will be reverberating for probably generations. And it seems like every single one of them ended in some sort of tragic way. Um, you know, these weren't, they weren't celebrated on and on and on. Like, they generally hated the work that they did and what they unleashed um, and felt bad for it. So it's, it's a fascinating graphic novel, um, and I would love to see more. Like, I really could see multiple 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 uh, volumes of this you know diving into more details um the art is solid i think it's really good um you know kind of captures that time period well it doesn't distract it doesn't it's not flashy um you know there's not giant splash pages with crazy explosions it, it's really kind of focused on the story the people and the process um, and it, I think, does an excellent job of doing just that. Like, it, it doesn't try to get fancy. Um, and I don't mean that in a bad way at all. Like, it's it's there to tell the story, and it does it really, really, really well. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just, it's good. It's really, really, really good and educational. I mean, this is solid, solid read. I mean, if you want to learn about the creation of the nuclear bomb, how uh, Russia went about uh, getting it, and kind of the, the some of the ramifications to it. This is excellent. It's super, super well done. Um, I would think maybe the only thing I would even add to this all would be, like, if you want to learn more, read these books. Like, that's probably about it. And even then, you know, that's just a would be a cool thing to add. Like, it's not actually needed because there's a lot in here. Um, you can go get this. Like, this is this is good. It's it's really educational. It's really good. It's entertaining. It's in, it's a great read. It goes into just enough detail to know uh, how everything works, but without being uh, overwhelming and, and, you know, too much scientific uh, discussion. Uh, so out now, you can go get this. We have a link beneath this vi our video. Put in your zip code. Tell comic shops near you. No shop, no problem. We do have some links where you can purchase your own. There'll be affiliate links, so we do get a small percentage. By doing that, you help support our site. So thank you. And speaking of support, I want to thank Roaring Brook Press for opening us up with a review copy. And of course, thank you all for watching. If you are into comics, you're into graphic novels, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, TikTok, and Mastodon. Until next time, keep reading those comics. And keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.